people in Singapore may have strong views about the situation unfolding in the Middle East, but should not express them in a manner that incites hatred and destabilizes harmony here," said the Republic's oldest interfaith body on Sunday. In a statement, the interreligious organization IRO, which comprises leaders and members from 10 different religious groups, called on people to priorities, shared values, in the pursuit of peace and unity, which it said starts with showing sensitivity, care and kindness towards one another. It also expressed deep concern about the Israel-Hamas war and acknowledged the effect that the loss of innocent lives has on not just Singapore, but also the global community. In our contemporary society, we encounter a variety of viewpoints on various matters, some of which individuals may hold firmly, said the statement, signed by IRO President Noel Mori Ken. However, it remains crucial that we consistently refrain from expressing opinions in ways that incite anger or hatred in our speech. Such expressions can harm other communities and, in extreme cases, even lead to violence. Noting that the internet has allowed information to spread rapidly, with the potential to amplify divisive narratives, it added, our collective responsibility is to promote respectful and constructive online and offline dialogue. And, if that is not possible, we must move to become in the interest of maintaining harmony and understanding in our diverse society. Drawing upon Law and Home Affairs Minister K. Shanmugam's remarks on Thursday, in which he said external events must never be allowed to affect the precious peace in Singapore, the IRO also stressed the need to promote understanding. Harkening back to a 1951 statement issued in the aftermath of the Maria Hurtle riots. That statement on February 22, 1951 was signed by 22 religious leaders and called for understanding and reconciliation after 18 people died and 173 were injured following three days of riots. The riots followed a court decision to award custody of a 13-year-old Dasharasian girl to her birth parents and was exacerbated by sensational news reporting that turned the custodial battle into a religious one. Undoubtedly, the solidarity between religious communities will face tests periodically, said the IRO in its latest statement. The IRO has observed how moments of conflict have also served as opportunities for us to fortify our connections and mutual understanding. Now is such a moment. Meanwhile, both the Jewish Welfare Board and mosques in Singapore have called for unity and peace. Expressing its gratitude to the interfaith community here for its strong support. The board said the Jewish community holds the Republic's commitment to a peaceful and pluralistic society in high regard. The Jewish community has roots in Singapore since the 1820s and has played an integral part in building the country's robust religious harmony. Jews in Singapore were among the earliest faith members of the IRO, founded in 1949, it said on Friday, adding that it was praying for peace alongside Singaporeans. Moss featured a sermon during Friday prayers that Minister in Charge of Muslim Affairs Masego Salkifli repeated in a Facebook post on Friday. He said that all forms of violence and oppression, regardless of who initiates or perpetuates them, clash with our values as Muslims. He also made a call for unity and peace amid the conflict which has seen more than 1,400 Israelis and 2,450 people in Gaza killed.